Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Bonnie Lad Adventures, and today's adventure, I'm trying to keep a straight face. I'm going to do a stealth camp around Edinburgh Castle. So, I'm going to go up to the castle and take an overview. I've Googled it, and there's a few doable spots. So, I will bring you back when. Oh God, I can't do this. <laughs> when I get back up to the castle, see you in a bit. As usual, haven't got a clue where I'm going, but we'll get there. We out Market Street taxi. Which way? Which way? I'll bring you back and I find out where the castle is. Looks like it's up there. This is Market Street. Up the street we go. Near the castle now. Edinburgh Castle. All oh, the buildings around here. It's like come back to the 11th century. It's not like, but might make good view and might sound good, but it's not like coming up to. The witchery, Boswell's Court, where they tried witches in here, and then they took them up the east, cobble streets, paraded them up to the castle in the courtyard and burnt them and hung them. Class, eh? <laughs> right, I'll bring you back when up, coming up to the castle. Battle formation! Which camera are we looking at? <laughs> Hello ladies, namaste. namaste. Rajput, one job, Mughal, Majorati, Gujarati, Bengali. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. My friend went to India, Alexander of Macedonia, Alexander the Great. I saw the Akbar go there, the Great, but they're all dead. My mother law went, she's dead as well. What? No, God's my wife, it's wonderful. <laughs> Smile, handsome. This is your wife. Sister. Interesting. Do you like old men makeup? <laughs> Thank you, if you are interested, joke, not jokingly, these are called ancient Britons. These are the ones that Rome called the pick. It means the painted people. This is very similar to the plant in India called indigo. It's called wood. Thank you. Right guys, little overview, Edinburgh Castle, Glasgow City, that's a joke mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's happened is I've gotten up to the castle and it's sold out for the day. Carlton Hill, I'll give you an overview and look what I've just spotted. Now, I was going to sleep in the park down below the castle, but I've just spotted this and I'm thinking turn this into a, a wild camp instead of a stealth camp. I'll go around the back of this monument and show you. So there it is. 
I think that's going to be where I'm staying tonight. So a big change of plans because everything I do is on the fly, get off the train, no planning, no nothing, just see what happens. So I was going to sleep in that park, but um, I found a few spots where there was cans and bottles lying about and stuff like that in the middle of the night bit dangerous and all I was thinking there'll be alcoholics in the park or whatever but and then I've come up Carlton Hill or whatever you call it and I've just seen that and that is going to be unbelievable the views from there is going to be fantastic so it's change of plans but that's how I'm doing my channel on the fly simple as that change of plans do whatever happens So, I'm going to go back to the city, the city centre, I'm going to get some supplies, get some food to cook, some drink, and while I'm doing that, I'll have a walk around, maybe try a whiskey distillery, even though I don't like it, and you know that, <laughs> but we'll try it, we'll go in, I'll show you, and, um, and any other sites that we we'll see before I go up that hill, I'll have to find out what they call it. So, um, yeah, I've got a feeling this one's going to be a good one. What do you reckon? Right, folks. The Whiskey Trail. So, since I'm in Scotland, I'm going to get some. Supplies for tonight. We'll get some food now. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of Swing, the Shoe Bomber. AKA Young Chris Nutton. Absolute speed. <laughs> supplies it's getting late now and it's a 40 minute 40 minute hike up the hills that's them there
shape of it. Holyrood Park or Holyrood Hills and on top of that is called Arthur's Seat and it's about a 40 minute walk apparently so I've been tilt to the top so I'll see you at the top guys or halfway up depending on how tired I get <coughs> What a view, folks, on top of Holly Road Boy Hills, Edinburgh Castle there, Shea Cliffs, Drop, how beautiful is that? Holly Road Park, and up there is Arthur's Seat. What I'll do, because I'm tired now, I'm going to drop down into some bushes because it's really windy down here. Up here, sorry. I'm going to drop down into a bit low coverage and get me tarp up. Use it as a windbreak. Right. Got me spot. I'll come right down in the middle between Holyrood Hills and Arthur's Seat. It's nice and flat. It's in a ball, if you duck down, there's no wind, flattened everything out. Oh, ow, nearly fell over. Right, so I'm going to flatten this out a bit more. I'm going to get my tarp out. I'm going to make myself a nice little home from home. I'll bring you back when it's all set up. Right, guys, forks, sun's going down, and I'm half set up. I don't know what you call this configuration, but sort of a mini tent. Maybe bivy bags on the floor. That was tiring. Um, I've still got a little bit to do, but I'm going to sit and chill out and have a cuppa or a can. And then I'll blow my air mattress up, put my sleeping bag, get Get ready to go to sleep because the sun's going down. Get prepped for us just jumping straight into my sleeping bag after I've cooked some food. Right, I was trampling everything down and I just stumbled on this. And I swear to God, that's a magic mushroom, but it can't be because they don't come out till September. October but that is a magic mushroom and it's only well it's July the 1st today so end of June July no August September that's definitely or it could be a fake one but if anybody knows because I used to pick them when I was little for um, school, you know, like on school trips for botanical reasons. <laughs> Honest, I swear. But no, seriously. That is. It's even got the black ring round the bottom in there. But anyway, it's weird that this time of year. I might take that home just to um, just to scrutinise it a bit more. Do you know what I mean? See if it is a mushroom or not. Right, I now pronounce this brand new <laughs> tarp set up as it'll do. That's the configuration. Bonnie Lad Adventures brand new setup. This'll go down. I'll have to make a video on this. And it's called It'll Have to Mac Do. Shoestring budget. And I'll show you what we're having to eat tonight. Oh, tonight. Said that like a bit pervy. <sighs> Here we go. We have cherry tomatoes. Beef rump steak. Everybody loves a rump. A rump steak. We have four, uh, three... Budweiser's, because I've already had one. 
Oh. And sugar snaps. So put them together. Cooked in butter. Three cans of lager. Bottle of water for in the morning with a peppermint cream and a cup of Horlicks. And I have me Jura whiskey somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But doesn't matter. I'll bring you back when I'm cooking. Right, dinner time. So as you can see, I've got the butter on, and to level it out, I put the butter on, put the heat on, and I've watched the butter run that way. So I've put a stake in the opposite side and then pressed it down a little bit. And then it might have ran a little bit that way. So I've done the opposite on the opposite side. Blah de blah. So I've got it. So it's perfectly level. So it doesn't fall off like last time. So in with a steak. Don't laugh if it falls off, because it's not funny. Blast that a bit. Well, this is perfectly level, because I learned from last time, see? I'm not stupid. I look at this views. I'm loving this. It's going to be some sunset in the morning. Ooh. Control, control. Oh my god. Oh. That's all I wanted. One turn over. Right. In. Maybe tomatoes. Perfect. I'll bring you back in five minutes. Dinner's done, folks. Improvise, that's one thing you've got to do with wild camping. Seat, Budweiser, straight on there. Done. Honestly, this is how you have to do it. It's an absolute nightmare. Anyway, as you saw from earlier on, I went into the shop and I bought a Jura seven wood I don't know if that's got anything to do with golfing seven wood is that a golf club or something but anyway oh it's a single malt but Jura is my favorite out of whiskey even though I don't like whiskey these are the nicest I've ever tasted before G Jura and Hague Club I think it was. It 
it's all right. Um, it's just all right. I, I'm disappointed. Durin Hake, I've had them before and they tasted absolutely lovely. It is tasting a little bit better. My first, first sup was a bit rough. Now it's getting a bit smooth. <laughs> um, but what can, what can I taste? Whiskey. I'm, I'm being serious. Um, mild, mild tasting with uh, tasting whiskey. Not rough. Um, not smooth. Just okay. I will. One more. Gets nice, Roxley. Ah, you have to give it a chance. I think that's what I'm doing. It's getting nicer, actually. I'm not getting anything, but it does taste nicer. The more you drink it, the nicer it gets actually. And I'll give that, I just want to make this quick. And I'm only doing the whiskey review because we're in Scotland. Um, I will give that a six out of 10. I think the more you drink it, the nicer it gets. I'm going to kick this over now. Oh. I'm trying to save my battery so I can fill them more in the morning. Guys, <clears throat> I'm fed, I'm watered, and I'm absolutely shattered. Ready for sleep, and it's about 10 o'clock now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bed now, go to sleep, set me alarm, because the golden hour, sunrise is between half four and half five. So if I go to sleep now, I can get packed away, and watch the sun coming up in the morning, I think, I'll go up them hills and show you the sunrise coming up over Edinburgh. I think that'll be good. So if I go to sleep now, and I am shattered, I'll give you a little treat for in the morning, just for you. So, and I'm tired, and I'm sick of filming. So, um, I bid you good night, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> right, we're out of here. Like I keep saying, <laughs> I have a tendency to repeat myself. I'm going to take you up them Var Hills and have a look at that sunset coming up. See you when I get up there. And that will be the end of the video and I'll be on the train home shortly. One last look. Edinburgh Castle. Carroll Hill. There's an ancient cemetery down there. And apparently the inventor of the crossword is buried in there. Top right now corner. Two down, three across. There's the sunrise. I'll put it in here, people. In case you think I can't fake it. Can't fake it.
about that so folks thanks for watching if you enjoyed that like and subscribe for more bonnie lad adventures see you next time